Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, 4th of July, <laughs> uh, Thursday, two games on the slate. We'll jump right into it. We got uh, Suns versus the Lynx at uh, 8 p.m. Open up at plus one. Suns is the underdog. Moved, uh, moved up to three and a half. Three, three and a half. Um, Harris might be out. Got an illness, they don't know, but I really don't know otherwise why it would move. Sun is Suns have been on uh they haven't played since the first, so they got a couple of days rest. The Lynx have been doing real well. But uh yeah, I don't really know. But uh over on the one fifty seven and a half opened up to that jumped up to one uh, down to one fifty. So they expecting a lower scoring game. Um Sun started at minus 105, all the way up to plus 130 right now. Then we got an 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock game, Mystics versus the Aces. Mystics plus 16 and a half, opened up at, went down to plus 15 and a half. Uh, hopefully they try to keep it a little closer so we get some of the game. Uh, over on the 168 and a half, jumped all the way up to 172, 172 and a half. And, you know, big on the dog, big favorite, plus eight, plus 800, 950, 880, all the way down to minus 1800 for the aces. So definitely expecting a blowout. Hopefully it's close until, you know, third, fourth, middle of the third, so we get a game out of it. But uh, figured out a couple player props, get into that. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Next up, I'm going uh, Kayla McBride. Watched the play the other day versus Liberty. And uh, liked the way she was, she was playing. Seemed like she was motivated. She was trying. Uh, got our 14 and a half points. Got a even money plus plus one hundred plus one ten on Caesars. Um, you could, like I always say, all line it back, depending on what you're doing. But uh, she has shown some uh, progression. She hit it the last two games. She's went over this, but in the last like two weeks, she's slowly climbing up. So hopefully, she. Uh, Continues that and uh, goes over this. Shooting 38% from the field, 35% from threes. Making uh, at least two threes a game. Shooting 94% from the foul line, playing plenty of minutes. Uh, Connecticut's first in points allowed, but they've been playing worse the last few weeks than, uh, than they started off at. Uh, yeah, like I said, I like the way she was playing. Her rate for the year is about 50%, but uh, I'm going with it. Kayla McBride points over 14 and a half. F minus 125, Fandle. Uh, 132 Fandle, maybe that's what it was. Might have moved a little bit. I'm just going to play your points. Got around like 10, 11. Just missed it last game. Very, very possible play for that. But our rebounds for the year, 55% hit rate. Uh, last 5, 60. Last 20, 55. Head-to-head, -head, 80. You know, last game versus Liberty, she... She didn't get it. It was a low-scoring game, 
but uh, these other games, she's gone over it by a couple. She plays forward, she's lanky, you know, she's pretty aggressive, um, averaging around 27 minutes. Uh, averaging 5.6 total rebounds, averaging six, six as the median. This thing at four and a half is too low. Uh, yeah, I'm going with it. Going with it. Atlanta Smith rebounds over four and a half. Going, uh, Alyssa Thomas, uh, first quarter points over three and a half, plus 106. I haven't really done this with uh, WNBA. Scott for the year, uh, 53% hit rate. Last two games, she's gone over this. You know, other games it hasn't. The last time they played, she went over this. They got, she got five points. Uh, I don't know. I seen it and it jumped out at me. Like I said, head to head. I mean, these go back to last year, but the last four times they played, she's went over this. Uh, two little putbacks, uh, you know, one little pick and roll. Foul, you know what I mean? It seems pretty easy. Four points, uh, three days rest. They're coming off of, should start real fresh. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it hits. My goalie is hoping it hits for the year, 53%, you know. Give it a shot. Uh, I'm not crazy. A little, a little sprinkle. Uh, if you, you know, you can do a half unit since it's first quarter. That's usually what I do with NBA. But uh, my unit size is $25, so I'll just bet a full unit. Let's get it. All right, I'd like to take this time to ask you if you could like that video. Uh, new viewers, please subscribe, turn the notifications on, get my plays, my live bets, uh, any info or news I put out there, be as transparent as possible. Uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there, helps uh, get them on the, uh, the home pages so people can see them more. Uh, Let's keep it moving. Appreciate everybody. All right. I got Julie Van Little points over nine and a half plus 140. Uh, very low hit rate. We did cash her. Not at this such high, uh, not at these high odds, but uh, we played the last game. And uh, she easily went over it. She was chopping threes. She's aggressive. She's a rookie, but she's came from overseas, so she's she's not rookie age. It's her first year in the WNBA, but she's been playing overseas balls for years. Uh, she's the point guard. She uh, she's aggressive, and if her three's falling, she's easily going to go over this. If it's not, I still think she's going to go over. Just, you know, she's really, she's finding a knack and uh, she's putting on more shots, she's grabbing more minutes. Um, putting up a lot of threes. So if they fall, which they were the other day, she'll go over this. Uh, like I said before, big plus money, please. If you bend, if you bet a decent amount, lower that number. Just because they're harder to hit. So, you know, if you want to do a half unit or uh, I got faith in it. I really think it's going to happen. But uh, points allowed, Las Vegas is eighth. So, you allow points, you know. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, Three is their 11th. So, she got a good chance to hit this. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, she'll do it again. Van Lu over uh, 10 points, 10 and a half points.
he got on eight and a half on underdog. If uh, if anyone knows, it's hard to find find bets for these for these women. If anyone knows the different sites they use, I'm not a, I'm not a member of Underdog or any of that other stuff. But if you know a good one, let me know. Put it in the comments. I didn't play it at two twenty. It was at like one fifty seven, one sixty. Uh, could play it at four and a half. You see, last five games, 80% hit rate. Last 10, 70% for the year, 50. But uh, she's been doing pretty well with it. Five, 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 and seven in the last few games. Uh, this was versus Las Vegas. Uh, the Aces, she got five. They played on the 29th. So, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, the Aces are seventh in assists allowed defense. So, at four and a half, they got it at plus 120. It wasn't available when I placed the bet. But as you see, she's still in over this. And like I said, she got five last game. Uh, I, I figure at three and a half, if she's getting five, it should look good to me. So obviously, been passing the ball pretty well. They figured something out. It's four out of five. So uh, you can risk it at four and a half if you want. You know, like I said, she's been clearing it. But, uh, we can play it at the three and a half. Uh, that's what I went with. All right, early act. All right, last up, I went with Maisha Hines Allen. Points over 11 and a half. Minus 110. Uh, haven't said this enough in this video. Always make sure you line shop different odds, different books. Always find the best ones. As well as you line shop the lines itself. Some books have them different. Uh, strong advocate on alt lining. If you, especially if you can spend more money per play, always alt line it back. If you ever notice you, you either win by one or two or lose by one or two, the books are pretty close all the time. So you give yourself a huge edge if you alt line it back. Uh, hit rate for this last five games, she's went over this four times. Uh, she just played Vegas on the 29th, and uh, she had 14 points. She comes off the bench. Uh, she's not playing too many minutes, but her minutes have been going up since she's been doing better. Uh, shooting 60% from the field, 54 from threes. She's so, only uh, putting up about three threes a game, but still she's hitting them. And uh, just about 90% from the foul line. Uh, Vegas is eighth in points allowed. So, you know, the way she's been shooting in the last week or two, uh, obviously she's been going over this. I'm hoping she continues that and goes over it. We don't need 16, but... 12 would be great, right? All right. Ace Money, the name, getting paper, the game. Let's go.